Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. How are you guys doing? Oh, I see you guys are very empowered. You have the strength card. This is your energy, Leo. Um, very empowered, very confident in yourself. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be having a lot of opportunities in regards to love and romance. Now, the obstacle to overcome here is the lover's card. And this represents getting to a point of having to choose or having to make a decision. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with two people. You may be communicating with two people that are very much interested in actively pursuing you at the present time. Now, you do have the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles is wanting balance. I feel that for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel that you guys are really taking the time when getting to know someone, and you're trying to see if they're willing to put the same effort that you put in the process of getting to know each other. Now, the Two of Swords could represent, again, uh, they're speaking to me a lot about having to make a choice between two people. Um, it could be that there is a particular individual that is very, very strong-headed when it comes to the actively pursuing you. Um, but I feel that for some of you guys, this could represent like uh, that you're either not that much physically attracted to them or there's something about them that uh, is not necessarily your typical type. Um, so there could be a, a bit of stubbornness on your part to actually open up or to actually give them the opportunity of getting to know you. Although, I don't see them giving up very easily. Now, you also do have the King of Wands here. So again, I feel that your energy is very powerful, Leo. I think for the month of October, you're going to be feeling like there's more eyes on you or people are really gravitating towards you or wanting to get to know you. Even those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, there may be some type of lack of... Um, effort in regards to maintaining the spark or maintaining the relationship and i do see you guys very tempted or starting to look around um it could be that there's lack of physical connection um lack of sex for some of you guys uh and i think that this is putting you in a position where you perhaps in the past have tried to either seduce your partner and for some reason, they they are not very receptive to your energy. Um, so that's the reason why I see you guys like being pent up with a lot of like sexual type of energy. And this could be the energy that other people around you are, you know, feeling on a subconscious level. They're just vibing your energy. And that's the reason why your animalistic side is really amplified. Therefore, it's easier for you guys to attract um, different different partners or people that are interested or that are definitely feeling you so what they're saying here is for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship i think you guys have gotten to the point where there is um, a decision to me to be made whether it's a decision in regards to you've tried you've put a lot of effort into this relationship and it just has not turned out the way you want it you have to remember that you cannot maintain a relationship on your own, Leo. You have to allow the partner to step up and to do their part. If they don't, or if they just continuously keep taking and taking, it's going to get to the point where you feel like you're being taken for granted, like they're not appreciating you. Um, now, what's coming as a surprise or unbeknownst to you is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a singlehood card to me, and it represents getting to the point of understanding that if this relationship is not working or it's not progressing the way the way you want it to, to um there's gonna have there's gonna be this moment where you start to fantasize or you start to analyze is it better to be single is it better to be on my own uh should i can should i start to worry and make myself a priority because they're not putting that effort. The Two of Swords represents someone's not wanting to see things for what they are. And it also represents the not wanting to see the reality of it. And the reality of the situation could be that they are, in fact, either not appreciating you or taking you for granted. 
Uh, for those of you guys that are currently single, I see you guys very much being content or really pouring all that love that you have to give, pouring it on yourself and uh, loving yourself or learning to love yourself and nurture yourself. And this is definitely uh, a very good type of energy because it indicates that you are evoking love because you love yourself or because you value yourself. Um, try not to be so try not to be so harsh when getting to know someone leo and the reason i say this is for some of you guys you have very high expectations when it comes to partnerships now there's nothing wrong with knowing exactly what it is that you want but make sure that you don't overdo it that those are not just expectations that you put on people that perhaps you're not that physically attracted to but then a person a very as an example a person that is very inspiring your animalistic side or a person that is very sexual that you're very sexually attracted to it's like your bars come down it's like you make exceptions based on you know the physical attribute of the person versus someone that you're not that physically attracted to but has all the qualities that you're looking for it's like you create this barrier and what they're telling you is if you're trying to find a relationship that is going to be balanced that it's going to be 50 50 a person that genuinely wants to put the effort in the relationship you have to be open-minded you have to be an open-minded in order to give yourself the opportunity of getting to know this person and allowing them to get to know you now you also do have the knight of pentacles here with the two of pentacles i feel that for a lot of you guys you guys are going into this cycle of having clear crystallized ideas of what it is that you want or where you want your life to go and this could include financially this could have to do with your career um this could have to do even being picky and choosy about the people that you choose to be around um it's almost like you're bringing balance to yourself even at the mercy of cutting people out that are not that positive or that have a tendency of being negative and this is by all means a good thing leo now you also have the four of cups and the seven of cups okay so for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship again I think that I someone is being taken for granted in this relationship. This could be you or this could be you taking for granted your partner. But what they're saying here with the seven of cups and the four of cups, there is temptation there. Um, if it's not working out, Leo, uh, if you feel like they are not, you know, they're not satisfying you in every single aspect of the relationship, then is it really worth holding on to? Um, because the seven of cups speaks about choices it speaks about uh, having multiple choices and with the four of cups you're over it or you're over the situation you're not wanting to put more effort or you're not wanting to fix anything it's like if they're doing it fine if not I don't care anymore but yet you're refusing to make a move so again it's about making a decision of what's best for you now for those of you guys that are single i do see a lot of opportunities in regards to love and romance but you have to bring your walls down leo you have to uh connect with people in order you can't make a decision of you know this person is not ideal for me if you don't really know them and you're going off of just the physical attributes of a person and i feel that oftentimes you make decisions purely on the physical for some i'm not saying for everyone uh, but there is a toxic behavior here that you do where you choose people um, not so much to do with you know getting to know someone but it has more to do with some type of personality trait some type of physical attribute that it leads you to make the wrong choice and again you know what they're telling you here is you got to be more picky basically is what they're saying you got to allow yourself or give yourself enough time to get to know someone before jumping into a relationship leo now like i said i do see a lot of opportunities for you guys so i hope that you give yourself the opportunity of connecting with people not just on a physical level but also getting to know them that's how you build a relationship connecting emotionally to people um Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.